Hi guys, I want to talk to you today about vSAN and how it can help with your VDI deployments. So we're, we're first going to start off with the traditional VM environment, right? So you have all your hosts with CPU memory and all connected back to a central storage, shared storage, via fiber channel, iSCSI, or FCOE. Um, and then all those resources are pulled together and presented as a cluster to your VM environment. So there are challenges when it comes to your traditional environment as it relates to VDI. So we're going to talk about a couple of them today. The first one being multiple administrators. So you have an admin for your VMware environment, and you usually have one for your SAN environment. And the VM guy can't do anything until the SAN guy provisions storage, uh, which usually takes time, and time takes money. Um, the second is IOPS as it relates to storage. This is very complex and costly um, to get the performance you need for VDI. So how's vSAN different? Basically, you're removing the need for SAN storage. It does this by pulling local SSD and spinning disk from each host. And presenting it as one big cluster uh, to your environment. So how can vSAN help simplify and enhance your VDI environment? Well, first it simplifies your administration. Now you have one administrator that's provisioning not only your servers and storage at the hypervisor level. Two is, it, is the performance issues. Now everything is done at the kernel level um, rather than traversing your original SAN fabric. And by utilizing uh, SSDs for read-write cache, that'll greatly improve performance. So VDI is great, but not without its challenges. And that's where vSAN comes in. So vSAN helps simplify management, reduce storage complexity, improve performance, and ultimately lower TCO. 